What is up YouTube? Today videos are going crazy about the new DJI Spark which is a tiny little drone. It's like this big. Everybody's going nuts over it and all the big YouTubers are releasing videos. I'm guessing because DJI wants to really market this thing. Is it for regular consumers, filmmakers? I'm going to help you out today by doing some comparisons and what I think that this drone is meant for and if it will survive in the world of all these high-tech drones. Let's go over and check out the video right now that they're releasing. I mean, they just released this and there's so many YouTubers releasing this same kind of thing right now. They just sent it out, so I'm going to try to help you out in deciding if it's meant for you. So guys, is this drone for you? Are you an average consumer or even like a filmmaker? I'm gonna break it down, pros and cons, to see if it's worth it in the long run. I'm not a paid endorser of this drone. I'm pretty small on YouTube, so I don't have the drone on me, but there's enough footage out there that I could go ahead and critique and help compare the drone to other drones and what the price range might be whenever it gets released. So. Keep watching if you want to learn more and uh, let me know if it helps you out. Let's get into this. So if we look at this pros and cons list, we're pretty much going to notice that it is beneficial for filmmakers and YouTubers to probably pick this thing up. It's very small and portable, which is a huge plus, and the budget is really low. Uh, compared to higher-end drones, you're going to be able to pick this thing up easily and even if you wait a little while on the used market, it'll show up and you'll be able to get into it. Uh, it helps a lot that there's cinematic quality with this drone. Even though it's in 1080p, it's still stabilized and can still compete with a lot of other footage out there, as long as you splice it correctly and edit the footage properly. With some of the cons of this drone, the fact that it is so small means that it's not gonna do well in windy conditions. Out in nature, it's gonna be harder to get the shots that you want because unless you really test this drone, it's gonna be harder to put into conditions that are windy and not as perfect as you hope. As well, it only has around a 15 minute range because of that battery is very small. You're not gonna be able to use it as long as some other drones on the market. Uh, the last and probably the biggest uh, con of this drone is gonna be the quality cut. There's no 4K on it. It really depends on what style you're shooting and what your requirements are. If you're shooting a lot of weddings or a lot of higher end business profiles, then they might want 4K. If you're doing independent projects, then the 1080p should work. And in my opinion, it has a very good quality for such a low budget drone. So this tiny little palm-sized drone is probably one of the coolest things that I've seen in a really, really long time. What I love most about this is it really is a beginner drone. If you've never touched a drone before, this is pretty much the easiest thing that I've ever seen. In, in my opinion, average consumers aren't really going to benefit from this drone very much. There's already a bunch of uh, novelty drones that do selfies and they, they really don't do well. Even though the quality is a lot higher on this drone, I think that it'll still be more marketable towards filmmakers and YouTubers who are actually tech savvy and know how to use uh, drones and how to edit footage. Uh, even though a lot of people out there are saying this is the easiest drone to use on the market, I don't think that a lot of people are going to carry this thing around, especially at like graduation ceremonies or at your house. It just is a lot bigger and cumbersome than a cell phone and a selfie stick because at the end of the day, if you're getting professional photos done or you want to post professional photos, you're going to get somebody to take the photos for you and you're not going to use a drone to take the photos or carry around one in your bag, even though it's really small. It's just another thing that you have to have with you and learn about and even, even just uploading the photos from from the drone itself is going to cause more more problems and more things to learn about. Uh, it's really it's really going to be cumbersome for standard consumers who aren't really into the tech world. 
That being said, you could pretty much say that the opposite is true because people so love it. having a lot of a lot of pictures and having the control. So all of the things that I said are cons for the consumers list. I would go ahead and say that they are also pros because uh, everybody loves social media, everybody wants to take pictures of themselves, and this drone should be able to allow them to do that without too much learning curve. Even though you're still going to have to understand how these drones work, and not to mention nobody is talking about the FAA getting involved with a bunch of people piloting these drones that are autonomous. It's kind of a big thing, a bigger debate than what I should get into. But in my opinion, I believe that these drones are not really practical for everyday consumers, more so for filmmakers. Uh, if you have any opinions of your own, I'd love to hear them. Uh, thanks for watching. So that's it. I hope this comparison helped you out. I'm sorry that I don't have the drone on me to compare for you and test out, but un unfortunately I'm not that big of a YouTuber. Uh, all I could do is compare other videos, which is pretty much what we're going to do anyways in the long run. Uh, I don't know if this drone is going to be a good thing or a bad thing in the market. I don't think it's going to be great for average consumers because really a smartphone is going to be the number one source of media for anybody that doesn't have a huge amount of technology uh, savvy interests and doesn't really know how to use a camera. So they make it seem like it is really easy to use, but I don't think a regular person is going to go out and buy one to take photos at a graduation ceremony like they portrayed in the marketing ad. But I can't really say for sure who is going to buy this and how is it going to do in the market. We can only hope that it gets better and they keep on releasing dro drones like this that are going to improve our resources as filmmakers and even just everyday human beings. Uh, thanks again for watching. I'm really appreciating all the support. Let's get it up, the subscriptions, and let's just keep on going. Uh, thanks again. See you next time.